Um, billions of Muslims and Christians believe in the Bible. I assume, uh, including yourself, I don't know. If you want to uh, say that our land does not belong to us, I, I suggest you go change the Bible first, come back and then show me a new Bible that says that the land of Israel doesn't belong to Jews. And how people understand that not all Jews support the state of Israel, not all Jews uh, support the crimes being committed, uh, against the Palestinian people and more important that the holy Torah Jewish religion does not condone all what's being done in Palestine well it's it's not only the senator there are many uh, American uh, politicians who stand up to support Israel uh, some of them would do it out of compassion to the Jewish people uh, people do I want to help Jewish people since, after all, what Jewish people suffered, which is a very beautiful concept and it's something that should be appreciated and we do appreciate that. But we are trying to educate and to inform people that what's being done in Palestine, even if this would be in favor for the Jewish people, how should we oppress other people because of that? It's my grandparents who were killed, murdered, murdered in the Holocaust suffered, they were tortured in the Holocaust, and some of us thank, thanks to the Almighty who survived. That's why we know exactly what suffering is, and we don't want to see other people suffer. Uh, and we say to these people, they should understand that it's not only wrong for the Palestinian people, it happens to be that this is not to favor for the Jewish people. Jews lived in peace in many Muslim countries, countries including Palestine, there, were, there was no hate in the early 1920s. Why do we see today this tremendous hate, this tremendous war between our peoples? This is just only because of this political movement of Zionism. This is not only a catastrophe for Palestine, it's a danger for the Jewish people. The importance of Israel in the whole arms nexus, the arms market, is clear. Uh, Israel is the watchtower, the watchdog, if you like, of, of US and British uh, and Western so-called interests in the Middle East, uh, keeping the Middle East permanently unstable. If we look at the Middle East, I think it's about time we stop those of us who support, as most of us do, Israel in this body for apologizing for our support for Israel. There's no apology to be made, none. It is the best $3 billion investment we make. Were there not an Israel, the United States of America would have to invent an Israel to protect her interest in the region. The United States would have to go out and invent an Israel.